Good evening, students. It's Dr. D, the econ lady, and tonight we're going to be talking about average total cost and marginal cost, something that students also find confusing. The average total cost is the average cost of making one unit of your product. It is the total cost of running your business divided by the total quantity of goods or services you produce. You need to know the average total cost because that's the average cost of producing one unit. And if you don't know your average total cost, you cannot set a price that will generate a profit. So it's an important number to note. Another important number for you to know if you run a business is your marginal cost. How does your total cost change when you produce another unit? So the marginal cost is the change in total cost that occurs when you change the quantity produced. So let's look at an example. In this simple example, the quantity is only going to change by one. That makes the math really easy. So if you are not producing any output, you would still have some total cost because you had to pay your mortgage or your insurance bill. Um, but when you produced your first unit of output, your total cost would go up because you've had some variable costs like a worker. So as you add more output, your total cost increases. Your average total cost is simply your total cost divided by your quantity. So when you produce one unit of output, your total cost is $110. You divide that by one, your average total cost is 110. A total cost for two units of $120 means your average total cost is 60. The co total cost of producing three units of $150, you divide that by three, the average total cost is 50. The average total cost when you make four units is 55. And the average total cost of producing five units is a total cost of 300 divided by five, or $60 per unit. But the marginal cost is completely different. It is the change in your total cost. So when you go from producing nothing to one unit, your total cost went up by only $10. So the marginal cost of the first unit was only $10. When you went from one unit to two units, your total cost only went up by $10. So the marginal cost of the second unit was only $10. When you produced your third unit, your total cost went up by $30 though. So the marginal cost of a third unit is $30. When you produced your fourth unit, your total cost went up by $70. So the marginal cost of the fourth unit is $70. When you produced five units, your total cost, cost increased to $300. So the marginal cost of that very last unit is $80. You can see a pattern here. Average total cost goes down and then goes by back up. Marginal cost starts low and then goes up. But there is a specific relationship between marginal cost and average cost. And you can see it if you look carefully. It is this. As long as the marginal cost is less than the average total cost, it, the average total cost will be falling. The marginal cost will be dragging the average total cost down. When the average total cost is less than the marginal cost, your marginal cost is dragging your average total cost up. If you look at it graphically, as long as your marginal cost is less than your average total cost, down here, the average total cost is falling. At some point, they're going to be equal, and then the marginal cost will be above the average total cost, and it will pull the average total cost up. An easy way to understand this is to think about your GPA. Suppose you have a GPA uh, of 2.5. That's your grade point average. Think of that as the average total cost. What changes your GPA? The grade in the course you are taking now. So if you made an A in Econ, that would be your marginal grade. An A would pull your average up and your GPA would rise. 
if you made that unfortunate D in econ, that would lower your average. So the marginal moves the average. It's true for your GPA and it's true for the cost in a company.